Hi, welcome to my video on graphing or graph linear inequalities part three. Where we're, this video will talk about the vertical boundary line. The vertical boundary line. Let's do some examples to show you about the vertical boundary line. Graph each on the xy plane. And remember, xy belongs to the real numbers, which is shading. And this time we have x equals 3. So x equals 3 means every ordered pair has a 3 for x. So that one is y. Well, y, as long as x is 3, y can be anything. Let's let y be 0, y be 1, y be 2, y be 3, y could be 2.5, y could be anything, as long as x coordinate is 3. So let's plot a few of these points. x is 3, which is right here. y is 0. x is 3, y is 1. x is 3, y is 2. x is 3, y is 3. So notice that the x coordinate is the same. Then you have, for all these points, all the dots, if you join them all up and shade it in, the equal sign is x equals 3, which is could be a boundary line in relation to an inequality, is a vertical line. And you notice that this vertical line has, let's just take two, slow, two points for a second. The slope is y2, let's call this one x1, y1, x2, y2 y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that's 1 minus 0, one at y2 minus y1, and x2 minus x1. We have a 1, that's a 0, 1 over 0, and 1 over 0 cannot be, it's undefined. So notice that the slope of this line, which is vertical, is undefined. A horizontal line that we did in the previous video has a slope of zero, but this line has a slope which is undefined. So this line cannot go into y equals mx plus b form. A vertical line has an equation of x equals some number, and it's the number of the coordinate of the x point. In that case, let's look at graphing some inequalities with the boundary line. What's the boundary line for all three of these? The boundary line is the equal sign, which is this one, x equals 3. x equals 3 is the boundary line. So, this boundary line, there's no equal sign. So, the boundary line is vertical. And let's put a few more of these in. The boundary line is a vertical line, but it's broken right there and in relation to the vertical line greater than is on the right remember in relation to y greater than is above less than is below but in relation to a vertical line on the right is greater on the left is less less than right greater left less than and you just check all coordinates of the points over here, all x coordinates of these points, will be greater than 3. Remember, to the right on a number line is greater, to the left on a number line is less. And we have, again, the boundary line is 3, but the boundary line this time is solid because of the equal sign. So there it is, solid, vertical line, parallel to the y-axis, and all the Coordinates on all x coordinates on this line are 3. The y's change. And y is less than, less than is on the left. So there's the graph. And you notice all x coordinates on the of any of these points, the x coordinate of any of these points will be the x will be less than 3. And we have again. We have a boundary line of x equals 3, 
and it's equal signs, so it's a solid line because the points on the line are include or all the points are a three, so that's why that's a solid equal to. And x is greater, greater is on the right. Again, we're graphing using x and y belong to real numbers, so we have to do a shading. Now, when I say shading, the shading is, you know, like I can, I'm just going like this, so it's, that's covering all these points. x is less than 3, the boundary line is x is 3, but the boundary line is broken because the, the vertical line is not included. These points, the points on this line, are not a part of this inequality. Less than is on the left, so this is the graph that represents all of these points represent this inequality. Practice graph on the x-y axis and again remind you x and y belong to the real numbers. Again the boundary line for all of these notice I have them all the same except I'm changing less than equal to greater than greater than equal to less than. The boundary line is x equals negative 2. So where is x negative 2 at? Right here x is 0, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. It's a vertical line, x equals. x equals a number is a vertical line. All x coordinates are negative 2. And the boundary line is solid, it's included, I've got to shade them in, because of the equal sign, less than is on the left. And the boundary line is negative 2, but it's broken because there's no equal sign. The, the points that's on this line are not included. Greater than is to the right. Again, notice x equals negative 2. x equals is a vertical line passing through negative 2. x is greater than or equal to negative 2. And equal to, solid. All these points are included. And greater than to the right. And x is less than a negative 2. The boundary line is negative 2 again. But the boundary line is broken, is not included. Passing through negative 2. And is less than is on the left. So hopefully, if you did pause your video, which is a good idea, at any time when I'm doing my units, I do some examples and then I do some practice. And when you, if you know what you're doing, when you're doing practice problems or any of these problems, then you can work it out on your own first and see if you're right by following what I'm doing. Hopefully, as in a lot of times, I don't make mistakes, but I do make an occasional mistake. Now, graph each on the x-y axis. So I have to solve, I only got one variable, so I have to solve it for x. So the minus 1 becomes a plus 1. That's a 6. Divide by 2. I'm dividing by a positive number. So it's greater than stays greater than and I got a 3. The boundary line is x equals 3. x is 3 right here but the boundary line is broken because there's no equal sign. So this line is x equals 3. And it's broken because there's no equal sign. And x is greater than 3 is on the right. So there's a graph that represents this inequality. Number 2, I have to solve it for, there's no y, so I have to solve it for x. So negative 3x minus x less than or equal to negative 2 minus 2. x goes to the left to become negative. This is plus 2 becomes a negative when you move it to the right. Negative 3 subtract 1 is negative 4x is less than or equal to negative 4. Divide both sides by negative 4, cancels. And because I'm dividing by a negative number, the less than changes to a greater than. Negative divided by negative is positive. So, again, x equals a number is a vertical line passing through x equals 1. Oop, let's mark some of these in. They're not here, again. So x equals 1, 
and it's solid, so it's a solid line passing through one, and x is greater, it's on this side. Greater is on the right. And before I start, let's mark a few of these in. Just, uh, but I need more than I'll, here we go, I gotta solve this equation for, again, I only have one variable x. So two times three x, six x. Two times negative one, negative two. Negative x minus 16. All variables go to the left. X, if I'm solving for y, the y goes to the left and the x and the constants go to the right. When I only have one variable, then that variable goes to the left and the constant goes to the right. So six x plus one x less than or equal to negative 16 plus 2. So the negative x becomes positive x, the negative 2 becomes plus 2 when you transpose or move it across the inequality. 6 plus 1 is 7x is less than negative 14. Divide by 7, x, because I'm dividing by a positive number, the less than doesn't change sign. And I have an inequality, x is less than negative 2. Negative 2 is a vertical line. X is always negative 2. So there's no solid because the negative 2 is not included. The boundary line is not there. X is less than negative 2 is on the left. And number 4, we have... A Fractions, so let's, when I do fractions, I find the LCD for 4, 2, and 4. The LCD is 4. That means I multiply all parts of the equation by 4. So there they are, multiplied by 4. So that means every denominator should cancel. 4 cancel into 4 once. 3 times, 1 times 3x is 3x. 2 cancels into 4 2 times. So 2 times 1 is 2. 4 cancels into 4 once. So 1 times 5x plus 2 is 5x plus 2. Uh, I've only got one variable x, so they all go to the left, and the constants go to the right. Positive becomes negative, positive becomes negative. Negative 2x is greater than or equal to 0. Divide by negative 2. It cancels x because I divided by negative. That greater than becomes less than. And 0 divided by negative 2 is 0. So that means that I have x equals 0. x equals 0 is the y-axis. x is 0 right here. So this is the y-axis is equal to. So I shade in the y-axis. And that may allow me to do this. This is the y-axis, I'm going to shade it in, because it says equal to, so there's the y-axis. So all points on this line will have an x-coordinate of zero, and less than is on the left. So again, all these points to the left, all x-coordinates of these points, and all the x-coordinates on this y-axis will be zero, and all points to the left will have an x-coordinate of less than zero. So x equals a number is a vertical line. Y equals a number is a horizontal line. And remember, vertical lines have all the x's the same. So when I say x is 4, that means all the x's will be 4 for every point, making it a vertical line with a slope that's undefined. And again, if you like my video, click the like button, subscribe button, and click the notification bell because there are more videos coming. And visit my website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. And that's the content that's going to be on my YouTube channel. Thank you for viewing my video. Bye-bye.